sanity. What this is, um, we need to design this. Uh, she has no quality of life. It's simple. Just, just need you to sign it right here. What is it exactly? Well, it's illegal. Um, it's an authorization to our. Uh, there's. Has to do with liability issues. <laughs> uh, we need uh, explicit consent. Consent for what, exactly? To we'll stop. Do it Spit it out. <clears throat> to let mom go. She's not ready to go. She, she has no cranial nerve reflexes. It's about as ready as it gets. I read her aura. She's not ready. <laughs> I'm going to the ice garden. Do you want to come, sis? The hell you want? <laughs> it's been two months of no brain activity. I mean, she's worked herself silly. 60 hours a week working, and the only free time that she does have is spent in the hospital. Now, you, you, you gotta sign this. What, because mom's interfering with your sex life? <laughs> Dad, we need to decide on it. Looks like Patty's not ready to let her go either. No, oh, I'm ready. We're all ready. Now it's easy for you and your little mud hut in New Mexico. <laughs> mud hut. <laughs> It's time. Sign it, please. I'm going to sign it. Let's sit down. Barry makes some coffee.
We'll have to sell the house. Correction. You'll have to sell the house, Sam. Really loves you that Mom made this decision in my hands, doesn't it? Miss 4.0, I aced the LSAT. Yeah, you could have made something of yourself. Yeah, I was making something of myself. And the double sow cows don't count. Triple sow cows, and they do count. <laughs> I was really good, Patty. I was really good. Uh, why don't I start making something for dinner? Why don't you tell me all the things that you don't eat? <laughs> <laughs> don't bother. I'm going to the ice garden. You know, baseball cards weren't the only things I found at Mom's house. I remember when you won this. You were the final skater and you needed a huge score and nobody thought you could do it. Except me. I knew you could. The music started and you could hear a pin drop in that arena. You could hear every scrape of your skates. And I held my breath the entire time. The whole four minute program? Felt like it. Every time you jumped, my heart stopped until you landed. Can you do eggs or are they too far and irreprehensible? <laughs> Something else I was good at. Turned out to be school. Art and for time. How's that sound? Whatever you want, honey. <coughs> you know, you and your school cost me my entire skating career. How? Oh. It was the nationals. I made it to nationals. All I needed was 300 bucks for a stupid plane ticket. You had that scholarship in Boston, so you got the plane ticket, and I got to stay home. Oh, come on, Sandy, that's ancient history. Honey, where's the other guy? It's in the spice rack. Oh, snap. Over by the saffron threads. Look, you guys are busy. All the lines are in, and I'll go to the ice garden. I don't see any saffron threads. Go to the ice garden. It's obviously more important than this conversation. And I will give you your ribbon when you do a little something. This is what I hate about coming home. You know why I haven't been home since 1995? You know why this is not. I need you to do this for me, Sandy. I know that you're angry with me, and I know that you blame your loser career choices on me. Poor you! You were supposed to be a world-class skater, but instead, you're selling sticks glued to canvas from your mud huts. I'm joking! But you weren't here to find Mom on her kitchen floor. You haven't spent every night in the hospital washing her face and holding her hand. You weren't here to box off her clothes for the Salvation Army. You weren't here sifting through 60 years of gas bills and love letters. I need you to do this for me. Here we go. You're right. I came back for the ice garden. I didn't come for you. I didn't come for Mom. But when I saw her lying there today, I knew she wasn't ready to go. I think that's why she put this decision in my hands. She knew I wouldn't let her go. So keep the ribbon and keep your artichoke potato. I'm going to the ice garden, and, and then I think 
I'm just gonna head on home. Yeah, fine. Go back to your mud hut and hide. And leave the men for Patricia to clean up just like Don't go to the hospital tonight.